many the diversity of life on earth written by nicola davies beautifully illustrated by emily sutton how many different kinds of living things are there on our planet one two three many yes there are so many from big things like elephants and oak trees. Did you know there are two kinds of elephants? African and Asian, and more than 600 kinds of oak trees. Two small things like mushrooms. So far, scientists have counted 100,000 kinds of mushrooms. And microbes. Microbes are so small, you need a microscope to see them. There can be 5,000 kinds in just one teaspoon of dirt. Everywhere you look, there are living things. In deserts, on islands far out at sea, under the feathers of birds, and on the backs of beetles. Leechen beetles have tiny plants growing on their backs, which help them to stay hidden and safe. Even in places where you think nothing at all could live, like boiling volcanic lakes, the bright colors in this lake are made by microbes. Counting how many kinds there are can be difficult because some places are hard to look in like the tops of tall trees in the jungle, or the bottom of the coldest seas. It can also be difficult because sometimes things that look different are really the same. And here we have a comparison between a young queen angelfish and an adult queen angelfish. And things that look the same are really different. And look at that, a viceroy butterfly and a monarch butterfly. They look almost identical, don't they? But mainly it's difficult because there are just so many living things. So far, human beings have found and counted almost two million different kinds of living things. But that's only the start. There could be many millions more. Thousands of new species are found every year. All the living things on these pages have been found in the last 50 years. Look at that. All the different insects and amphibians and fish, wonderful octopus, cryptic forest falcon, oh, golden kelp. Very good. And the more we find, the more we learn about how living things depend on one another for food, for places to live, and for ways to grow. Jaguars eat pacas, which eat the fruits and seeds from trees. Hummingbirds eat insects and nectar, and ins insects eat nectar. Toucans live in tree holes. And some bats bite holes in leaves so they droop to make a tent. Pacas poop out the tree seeds they've eaten, which grow into new trees. Baby frogs grow in pools of rainwater and leaves. Isn't that awesome? Bees carry pollen to flowers, which allows flowers to grow seeds. We have learned that every kind of living thing is part of a big, beautiful, complicated pattern. The trouble is, all over the world, human beings are destroying pieces of the pattern. Chemicals poison the air, rivers, and oceans. Fishing boats take too much from the sea. 
people build roads that divide forests into pizzas, causing animals and plants to disappear. Many kinds of living things have already been lost. Some have disappeared before we've had a chance to find them. Look at all of these endangered and actually extinct creatures. The dodo bird, Tasmanian wolf. I would have loved to hear what a laughing owl sounded like. How about you? All these things are gone. Human beings are part of the pattern too, and we need to make sure it stays big, beautiful, and complicated. Because we could not keep living on Earth if we had to count down instead of up from many to one. Many. The diversity of life on Earth and what we, as a community of human beings, have as a responsibility to keep our Earth healthy and alive. All right, until we're together again, adios amigos. Goodbye.